Welcome to the Konomics video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking at the Profiler module. The Profiler module uses Konomics's reference library to match known compounds to peaks in your spectrum. Here on the left side of the page, you can see the list of reference libraries available. Remember to choose the reference library that is compatible with the NMR field strength used to obtain your spectrum. In this case, we're using the 800 megahertz library. There are two ways to profile your spectrum. Either right-click unidentified peaks or target metabolites using the search function, which we'll do here with alanine. After selecting alanine, we can see two markers on the x-axis. These markers correspond with these numbers here on the upper left and are the locations predicted to show alanine in your spectrum. Click one and zoom in. The shaded dotted line here is the compound from the reference library. The solid line is the peak from your spectrum. Let's drag the reference compound over the spectrum peak and check for a match. If it fits, the number at the upper left will turn green. As you can see, the profiler has accepted this as a fit. Now let's take a look at the cluster found at 3.8. Watch the marker along the x-axis as we move the reference compound. It turns red as we push beyond the expected pH range of the compound. Ideally, your reference compounds will stay in the desired range, but some deviation can occur if there are differences in the pH between your spectrum and the pH entered in the software. As you can see, we do not have a perfect fit. This happens when other compounds in your spectrum overlap. You'll need to identify additional compounds at this ppm. Note when you have a match, the profiler will provide the concentration of the compound here. Now let's move to glycerol. See that there's three clusters of glycerol in your spectrum. Click on the cluster location and the software will automatically zoom in on that peak. As you can see here, glycerol is not a perfect fit at this location. This is again from overlapping. So while you may have profiled correctly, the number at the upper left will not turn green until you have profiled the overlapping compound. Now let's try valine. Valine has four clusters. Let's take a look. Looks good there. You see when there's no overlapping, the profiler has no trouble finding a match. This is how you find compounds when you already know what you're looking for. Let's try profiling using the profiler's compound suggestions. Right click on a cluster and select search for compounds at 2.6 ppm. The profiler will provide suggestions. Here, the highlighted suggestion is aspartate. Do some fine tuning. and you can see all the aspartate clusters have turned to green. The last cluster is a bit off. This can happen near 4 ppm as this is very close to the water region. And since we've already suppressed water in this spectrum, it can affect other results in the region. Better to check the concentrations in the other parts of the spectrum as results further from water will be more accurate. Now check the FIT folder on the left. This is a list of the identified metabolites in this spectrum. On the spectrum, those identified peaks have been turned red. The unidentified peaks remain black. Let's see what else the software can do to help us profile. Zoom in and right-click one of the black peaks, and the software has suggested tyrosine. It looks like a close fit, but instead of moving the suggestion yourself, click spacebar. Zoom in, fine-tune, and get your match. Note, it's recommended to start with the metabolites estimated to have the highest maximum concentration. The concentration of your profiled metabolites may be higher or lower than this number, and not all of the metabolites in the library will necessarily be found in your spectrum. 
Keep going and identify as many peaks as you can. And the fit folder on your left will continue to grow with your profiled compounds. When you're done with profiling, it's time to export your data. Go to Tools, Batch Export, and you'll be given this menu. Here you can customize what data you want exported. I'll select Concentration by Micromolar Unit. Now choose the CNX file you want to export. You may have several CNX files, and you can select them all at once if you need to. Choose your destination folder, select whether you'd like to export data for all profiled compounds, and click Next. Here you can add additional categories to your export, including CAS registry and HMDB accession ID. Click Next. More information, including magnet frequency, pulse sequence, and CSI. Click Finish. You'll be given a link to your exported data as an Excel file. Let's take a look at it. Now we only had one CNX file, but if you had more, they would appear in the columns to the right. Let's try exporting when you have numerous CNX files. Tools, Batch Export, Add Files, Select all CNX files you want to export. In this case, we have 32. Click through and choose what information you want included in the report and finish. Here you can see all the profile metabolites in the first column and the different CNX files are represented separately.